If you care about our environment, chances are you separate your recyclable waste from your other garbage and either take it to a depot or put it out at the curb for pickup. But have you ever wondered where it goes from there? When the truck arrives, your recyclables go through their first sorting. The worker puts paper and boxes in one receptacle, glass, plastics and metals in another. At the sorting plant, the truck dumps each receptacle into a separate area. Then it's onto separate conveyor belts for more sorting. On the paper and boxes line, workers first remove any plastic, metal or glass that got there by mistake. Then they sort what's left into three categories. First, corrugated cardboard, what brown boxes are made of. Second, newsprint. And third, mixed fiber paper such as cereal boxes, envelopes and greeting cards. On the glass, metal and plastics conveyor belt, workers first remove the big bulky items such as gallon-sized containers. A jumbo magnet picks up everything metal, except for aluminum, which isn't magnetic. Workers then sort milk and juice cartons to one area, aluminum to another. They separate plastics into three categories, glass into two, clear and colored. Once everything's been separated, each category goes into a baler, which compacts it, then binds it with wire, like a giant bale of hay. Then it's off to the warehouse until they're sold to a recycler. At the recycling plant, they cut open a bale of plastics, then load everything onto the conveyor belt. The plastics pass through magnets to remove any metal that might have slipped through. Then it's into the shredder. It takes the shredder just one hour to shred two tons of plastic. All those containers are now tiny little plastic flakes. Next, cleaning by friction and water. Any remaining glass or other contaminants now sink to the bottom while the lighter plastic flakes float to the top. The dirty water will be chemically filtered and used again. They dry the flakes by hot air, then put them into silos to be compacted. Inside the compactor, it's 160 degrees Celsius. The heat partially melts the plastic, fusing the pieces as they compact. The flakes go through the compactor's perforated inner drum, much like a pasta press, and come out looking a bit like macaroni. They're now officially recycled plastic in raw material form. Next, they're melted, pressed through a screen, then cut into pellets an eighth of an inch long. They drop into water to cool, then go into a dryer. Factories buy these pellets and use them to make plastic products. This recycling plant takes the plastic flakes it produces to mold warehouse pallets. The mold goes in at 230 degrees Celsius for just about seven or eight minutes. It takes just two and a half minutes to mold a recycling bin. Something to help ensure a steady supply of what the factory needs to keep producing recycled plastic.